Hello Virgos and welcome to Deku Tarot. I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading for July 1st through the 7th of 2019. Um, okay guys, so I'm going to use the Morgan Greer deck here. As you guys know, um, this reading cannot and will not resonate with all of you. If it doesn't, don't take it to heart. Check out your other placements like your moon, your rising, or even your Venus for your weeklies as well as your monthly. I'm working on getting all the monthlies out, so be patient. They're big spiritual messages. They're quite intense this month because of the eclipses, which is why I did them face on, because I just felt there was a lot more spiritual messages and stuff coming in that I need to talk about other than just tarot. So definitely check out your monthly. Um, that should be up. I don't think yours is up yet as of right now, but it will be up soon. All right, so Virgos, let's see what's going on this week for you. Wow, Ace of Cups. Ooh, I feel like a sigh of relief from you guys, because it's been tough. You guys have been getting a consistent amount of difficult readings, I feel like, for a while. Um, I will say, it feels like Leo's in that spot this month. Um, yeah, Eight of Cups reversed. It's in your energy to see what what's in your surroundings. Don't get stuck on past situations as you are entering this amazing new period here. You might get a little bit fearful and want to take a step back and be like, whoa, 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 I don't know if I'm ready for this. But honestly, I feel with this, you know, with this combination here, Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups Reverse, King of Rods, and Ace of Pentacles, it's time to step into your power. You might have a fire sign offering something big to you this week. Or again, you're being asked to take on a leadership role. Again, I didn't, if it's not that, I just feel like it's a great new project here. You're going to be put in probably a position of power in it. And it does show, boast, you know, a good amount of money here. Um, also, guys, I forgot to mention, at the end of the reading, we're going to do a new moon solar eclipse um, reading God, I feel like I keep saying that one's so weird. It's the new moon in Cancer. It's also a total solar eclipse. And we'll do the reading for that one at the end. I decided to include that in the weeklies because, again, that new moon is smack dab on Tuesday. So it's really quite, it's dominating the energy. Both eclipses are really dominating the energy for this month. So we're going to talk about it for a little bit. Um, I think, again, that this eclipse is bringing forth, you know, all that energy is really bringing forth some um, wonderful new revelations and beginnings, especially, you know, and having to do with... Um, trying things differently. There's this interesting sextile um, with Uranus and Taurus with that new moon in Cancer. Um, and it's bringing forth, again, a lot of stimulating new energy, new and new beginnings, new encounters. And you're being asked to, you know, eschew the old way of doing things and go into something new. Um, focus on setting new goals and, be, um, and, you know, starting something new, having new beginnings here. Especially that's based on it's going to be a very based on, you know, our home, what we want it to look like, the people around us. If it's boasts more money and, you know, maybe even a move, you're like, oh, hell yeah, I'm into that. Um, this is a great time for that in the Cancer New Moon because that's the type of energy we're bringing up here. It, you know, has us really looking at our home and family sector, what surrounds us, what do we rely on. I want to clarify just energy, underlying energy this week for you. Ooh, Nine of Swords. Wow, that's interesting. You guys are very afraid. And remember when I was saying at the beginning how it's been tough for you guys? It's been like that for a while. Um, I will say you're afraid of things not working out this week. You're afraid of it. Um, there's a deep fear in this new beginning. And try to step past that earth sign anxiety, Virgo energy of, well, this isn't the routine. This isn't what I'm used to. This isn't you know, the way it has been, how can I trust that it's going to be okay? Ab you can absolutely trust it's going to be okay, all right? I, I can promise you that. I really do think that this is a lot better than you think it is. I think that the Cancer New Moon, despite, you know, bringing up all these great new beginnings and our focus on home, we're also worried that we won't be able to provide in that aspect. We're worried about it not working out. It's bringing up that emotional fluctuating energy that can be a little bit extreme. So, Seven of Wands. You know, the Seven of Rods in this deck, I always say Seven of Wands, Seven of Rods, I guess it's Rods in this deck. <laughs> um, he's kind of fighting for what he believes in, fighting for his values here. You know, the validity of your principles might feel under attack here. You might be asked, you know, step up in a way that you haven't had to in a while, step up and make changes, and it's going to feel uncomfortable. I will say it's going to be like 
drinking water upside down. You know, you ever had to do that when you had the hiccups? It kind of feels like that for me this week for you guys, but it's a good thing. So know that even this, although this is uncomfortable and we're wanting so badly to run back to the past and you know, what was comfortable because we know that there is safety and security there. It's asking us to instead turn this way. I mean, this hand's going this way, this hand's going that way. Um, so try to work past the emotional insecurities here about the future. Try to work past that side of you that's like, well, is this really practical? Yes, it will be fine. Make the necessary changes. Prove that you can do this, you know? We have to have the courage to really uphold our principles while taking this advantage here. Taking um, advantage of this opportunity is really what I feel. So be confident. Have faith in yourself. You're on the cusp of a great new beginning. Great new beginnings, especially in terms of money, stability, um, new offers. So I really like that energy for you guys. Let's get let's get onto our love. What do I want to use for love for you guys? I'm gonna use. Uh, where is this? Okay, so I want to use the Hobbit deck for the new moon solar eclipse reading. So we're gonna use the Aquarian tarot for love for you guys. Love and romance energy for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I almost said January. What is wrong with me? July 1st through 7th. What year is it? Oh my god, I almost said January 1st through 7th, and then I was like, whoa, that is very wrong. Okay. July 1st through 7th, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Love and romance energy surrounding them for this week. So this card, I really want to pull this. Four of Swords, needing a break. Y'all need to take a break, need to take a rest. Just sit where you are, you're okay. At the beginning of the week here. Or, you know, again, it's, it's exhausting, I feel like, approaching this new moon. Um, oh God. I just feel a bit on edge here. So what's happening in terms of the romance energy surrounding them this week? Get an Aquarius energy there. I don't know why I immediately said that, but um, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, you might be either taking a break, you might be waiting to hear from them, waiting to hear about a decision. I just kind of feel a little bit of a coldness from them. They're either just not being very talkative, they're not really reaching out. Hmm. What else is coming up here? Moon reverse. Yeah, it's bringing up some anxieties. Maybe we've been waiting for a decision or to make a decision about something. There's a lot of oppressive energy within relationships this week. Anxiety coming up. Um, Feeling a bit overburdened and having our anxieties, our worries, our stresses come out here. Maybe um, some of us might feel pressure to really settle down or to step up a relationship, and that can be a lot. Verify Four of Swords, the King of Swords for Virgos for love. And then that's energy. Nine of Swords reverse. Again, guys, don't worry. It's not as bad as you think it is. You guys are have this Nine of Swords energy around you this week, and it's time to... Really knock yourself out of it. It's gonna be okay. You're having all these old, like all this old crap anxiety is coming up here. All this stuff is like really been, it's like amplified all of a sudden. All this stuff that's been coming up probably since that Sagittarius full moon. And it's gonna be coming up all month. Anything that needs to be released, toxic, negative, bad behaviors, bad situations, places where we felt attacked, hurt, or even guilty and ashamed. All that stuff is coming up and we're needing to, at least this week, Try our best to rest and not sit in that energy. Take a break. Sleep if you haven't been sleeping. Queen of Rods is in the center of your energy, though. There is passionate energy in pushing forward. Use this one week of Leo being in Mars um, and not being retrograde to say what needs to be said, to go from that overly emotional aspect to ready to push things forward, to take action to communicate about our anxieties, about where we feel oppressed, about where we might need to share some burdens, where we felt stressed out. It's just communicating. If you haven't been communicating as well, it's time to communicate, even if it involves having a fight. We might have differing opinions, or we might have felt, you know, someone took advantage of us somewhere, and we need to communicate that this week. Whether you're single or a couple, I think if you're single, you're getting really tired of somebody giving you the cold shoulder of, you know, not committing. You know, it just feels like an in and out type of energy, in and out personality where they're just like, I don't know what you mean, what I mean to you. I don't know where you think this is going, but this is just not happening. Um, and that's really what I get here is we need to pick up our swords, push forward, know that this difficult time will end. We're saying goodbye probably to a very narcissistic energy. It feels like or somebody that just couldn't 
that is just undeveloped. You know, they couldn't give us what we needed. And even if they wanted to, it just feels like they're unwilling to. So it's time to let something go for some of you. But um, if you're in a relationship, I just feel... I don't really feel like there's an issue between you guys exactly. And yet I feel like it comes from an outside situation that's bringing stress into the relationship. An outside person or energy. I'm not saying like a third party thing. It just could be like stress with, you know, your partner, your boyfriend or girlfriend or whoever's um, sibling even or something. Or, you know, parent. There's just stress there. But you need to kind of relax. I just feel like we're having anxieties about relationships kind of come up this week in a negative way. And the best thing to do is just keep our eyes and our head forward and keep pushing forward. And, you know, say what needs to be said, release what needs to be released, and just keep on going, okay? Um, you're at the end of a cycle. You're, this, this will all be worth it, okay? I promise you. It's a tough week, but where is it all leading to for in terms of love and romance? Energy for Virgos. Whew, two of Wands. You'll see that this actually gave you opportunity. You know, the world is in your hands here. We have a way forward now. We can choose to go this path again and be anxious and continue our bad behaviors, or we can take the world in our hands, ascend to a higher level, and stop beating ourselves up, stop, you know, staying quiet, stop doing things in the same old, same old way. So this is really awakening you to new ways about doing things, new ways of approaching relationships, new ways of communicating, dealing with stress and anxiety. Um, and not carrying the burden on your own for a lot of you, I think, that are in relationships. Okay, so let's go on to this new moon solar eclipse reading for you guys. What is this new moon in Cancer total solar eclipse bringing up for my Virgos? Virgo sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I can't believe how fast. I thought these weeklies were going to be, like, crazy, but, um... Your monthlies have been a lot crazier. I think that all the spirit... I've been, like, trying to channel all the really intense spiritual messages into the monthlies. So, listen to that. Um, but these are more focused on what's happening, what's going on. Ooh, what's going on here? Okay, the full reverse comes out. What else is this bringing up in your energy? Don't be foolish. In this energy, um, it's really going to show you areas, yeah, where you felt a fool or somebody has hurt you. Oof. Jesus, Virgo. And I don't think it's your fault. So I would say, first of all, guys, don't beat yourself up so hard. It doesn't really feel... Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is intense. Four of pentacles, or sorry, four of coins, three of swords, whatever you want to call it. Um, the full reverse. Yeah, this is bringing up some heartbreak, some places where you felt foolish. Maybe you let somebody hurt you. Maybe you let somebody take from you. And now you kind of have to take what you've got and move forward. Um, this is bringing up old wounds, I think, that, again, where we felt gullible, where we've been a fool. Maybe, again, areas where we felt guilty or ashamed for what we've done in the past. You know, decisions that we made that ended up being bad or, you know, people that we've trusted that we probably shouldn't have trusted. Um, whatever this may be, it's bringing up, you know, an area where we felt foolish, where we felt like we've made a poor decision, where something's coming to slap us back in the face. And it could even be that this already happened, but that the energy and the emotions are coming back up to release it. Because they're like, it seems to me you're still carrying this. It seems to me you're still carrying this toxic energy. It's having you, like, take, again, this month with the eclipses is, like, I'm going to probably say this many times. You'll probably hear me say it many times. It's like having the rose-colored glasses ripped off your face and having to look at, like, a car accident. And you're like, I didn't see it that way before. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What just happened? It's going to be big. This is a month where, you know, these things are being shown to us. Areas where we're like, oh, my God, what was I thinking? What was I doing? And, again, I want to, I want to like, really hone in, like, hammer into you guys. It's not your fault. This feels like something where you maybe just were busy doing your own thing. You were, um... You didn't think you didn't think that this would happen, and you trusted that it wouldn't. It feels like for some of you, but there's heartbreak here. This is a deep, deep wound, and um, if you've been holding on to it, it's going to come up absolutely to be dealt with. Oof! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! So let's pull a romance angel oracle card. I think I accidentally this a little bit out of order, but maybe we'll finish it up with the oracles from now on. For these, I'm gonna pull one for the weekly, and I'm gonna pull one for the new moon, okay? Actually, I feel like doing that with the Stacey DeMarco deck, honestly. That, that, that one. This is, we're just going to get one love card. 
Spirit was like, no, this is bigger than that. This is bigger than just love. Okay. Chemistry, yeah. There's a strong magnetic connection here. I think that you guys need to get on a more base level because you're just feeling, I just, it feels exhausted, cold, shut out, frustrated. Get back into that chemistry with your partner if that's what the issue is here. You know, talk about the attraction, to, you know, beef up the chemistry, do things that, you know, are going to bring that energy back in because you need it right now. I just feel like that's what's, that's what's needed at this time, honestly, to help you through this. And explore chemistry if, they're, um, if you're wondering if somebody in your life, if you have a connection with them, if there's chemistry there. Yes, there is. Um, let's get a couple of Stacey DeMarco cards here from the Halloween Oracle. All right, Virgos, for your week, July 1st to 7th, messages and guidance from your higher self, from spirit here, what's popping out? We get, ooh, night song, hidden talents, and what is this new moon total solar eclipse bringing up for you guys? Okay, what is, too many cards, can we get one? It just like, it's like, here's four. <laughs> okay. Control. Let's see. Night song and control. So you can always listen to these as um, daily affirmations if you want. I always think that they're great for that as well. So hidden talents. Should this beautiful but shy bird sing to you by appearing during your divination, know that you must unwrap the present of yourself. Look, some of the gifts within you remain unopened. The time has come to step into your true potential and claim all possibilities for yourself. There is no more time to waste, no more excuses. So that's really nice, guys. Again, step into your new possibilities, all right? That's what you're being asked to do. Even if you're afraid, you have hidden talents that maybe you don't even realize, and there's no point in saying no because, I'm sorry, there's, if you say no, you're never going to find out. I can't, I'm sorry. The Mercury retrograde shadow period is already slaying me, so I, <laughs> I'm saying everything wrong. Um, zombie control. One of the most frightening aspects of the idea of zombieism is the idea of our souls and consciousness being trapped inside a body that does not do our bidding but someone else's. Another is the idea of being buried alive, the fate of some, it is said, who get trapped in already dead bodies. Should the zombie step unsteadily into your life, it's time to look at the concept of control. Do you want to control everything, leaving little to free expression? Do you choose partners who are not your equals so that they are more easily manipulated and changed to your liking? Or do you allow that to happen to you? If you are not living your most authentic life, it's time to look at why and how to change that. And I think that a lot of you guys are being asked to take those steps this week. Um, you know, realize that you have the talent to get to where you want to and that um, even if you feel out of control, this is a great time to step into new possibilities and see what you can really do by releasing control over a situation and knowing that we can't control everything. So, uh, Virgos, thank you guys so, so much um, for all of your support. If you want to book a private reading, all that information is right below this video in my description box. Please make sure to share and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Check out your monthlies. If you want to get 20% off of a um, anything you order through my Teespring, um, the code for July is CANCERS with a capital C. And um, all my Teespring stuff should be below this video in the bar. Um, or you can go on Teespring and look up Deku Tarot. Have a wonderful and blessed week, guys, um, and I thank you so much. Namaste.